Saturday, June 22nd, 2019, Monaco 64, home of alternative economics and contrarian views. Uh, before I start today, I'd like to thank again all the viewers, all the subscribers for their uh, interaction with the channel, for their support, also through donations, through using the uh, Monaco 64 PayPal store, for being Patreon supporters, for sending me uh, cryptocurrencies, for sending me uh, funds through PayPal. I appreciate it. Uh, the channel is growing. I am making more from the uh, adverts through monetization, but it's always great to get to some kind of uh, support. Uh, you never know when YouTube is gonna cut you off from the monetization. Uh, by the way, uh, the Monaco 64 Teespring store, uh, we have this mug that uh, is one of the most popular one. It's the end of Fed mug. It says robbing Americans since 1913. Uh, I also have uh, Billy mugs, uh, Billy t-shirts, and other things there as well. So thanks again. Uh, this uh, morning, I want to talk about gold, where the price of gold could go. And before uh, <laughs> I... Uh, I start though, I want to say this is just like a, a bit of fun looking at uh, what gold did in the uh, 1970s bull market and what gold has been doing in what I'm going to call the 21st century bull market that basically started uh, in July 1999 or thereabouts. Uh, and uh, you'll be surprised at the number. <laughs> Am I saying that gold is going to go there? Uh, no, but it has the potential of going going there, looking at, at the cycles, the percentages. Uh, but uh, am I saying you should go out there and uh, sell the house, sell everything and just buy gold and sit there and wait? No. Uh, for me, gold still is uh, an insurance, is a way of savings. If it goes where uh, my analysis says it goes, the better. If it doesn't, if it goes halfway or a quarter of where uh, my analysis says, I'm going to be happy too. Um, so here we go. First of all, let's look at a chart of gold. Uh, and this chart is a logarithmic chart. It is a percentage chart. So you see how different it looks uh, when you look at a chart like that. Uh, so it's going back all the way to 1970. You can see where when gold start was at $35 an ounce. Then we have the bull market in the 70s that culminated. Uh, the chart says 850, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with that number in January uh, 1980. Uh, I think the high actually intraday was a little higher, but uh, let's go with that. And then you get the uh, bull market that started in 1999. Yes, the low was in 1999 at 252. There was a low a few a, a year or two later. And, but it was just a dollar above that, so technically the low is 1999. And you can see the move up until 2011 and the correction that we've had. And, um, and gold's still doing very well. You can see that uh, this is just a pause in the 21st century bull market. So what I've done is, uh, and I've written it all down here in, in the book, uh, I look at uh, leg one right in, in the 1970s bull market uh, gold was at 35 dollars uh, in january 1970 and then in december 1974 it actually topped at 195 dollars and 50 cents and then leg two was a correction uh, into august uh, 1976 at 102.20 and then the third leg the final leg was uh, from July 1978 until January 1980. So gold went from 102.20 to 850. So I've done the same analysis for uh, gold in the 20, you know, the 21st century boom market. First leg, August 1999, uh, $252 to September 2011, uh, 1920. And uh, I think, uh, December 2015, that is the bottom, 1,046.27. I'm, I'm going to uh, go out on the limb and call that the bottom. I know we haven't broken back out of 1920, 
But uh, with the break this week above 1375 and the fact that we almost we closed right around 1400, uh, I'm going to go uh, with that. Uh, uh, but that's not even to say, though, that we couldn't have uh, a correction back down to retest that uh, 1375. But I still think we are we have definitely broken out uh, in gold. It's a six year high on a closing basis. So what I did actually, uh, I found that uh, the bull market in uh, 1970s. Uh, was shorter, of course, than the bull market now. You know, leg one uh, and le leg one took, uh, I did some calculations here, took 59 months to uh, complete. Uh, leg one in the 21st century bull market has take took 144 months from July tw uh, 1999 to September 2011. Uh, and then it took... 20 months uh, for gold to bottom uh, in um, 19, you know, in the, in, from 1974 to 1976. And it took uh, 52 months for gold to bottom uh, from 2011 to 2015. And uh, so it took about uh, for the leg A or the first leg, uh, in the 21st century bull market, it was 2.44 times longer in terms of months of, of time. And the correction took about 2.6 times more than it did in the 1970s. So the average is just about above 2.52%, uh, 2.52. So I took, you know, 2.52 or two and a half. So after that, to calculate the second leg of the 21st century bull market, I took uh, how long the second leg of the 1970s bull market took, and that was 42 months. And I multiplied that by 2.52, and I got 105.84 months, about 8.8 .8 years. And I added that to uh, December 15th, uh, when uh, gold bottomed at 1,046, and I got August of 2024, uh, which makes sense because I've spoken about uh, the dollar index, how it topped in 2017, and that uh, the cycles in the dollar index are about seven to nine years long. So it takes us right around 20, 2023, 2024 for it actually works out. So now let's look at the percentage moves, which is really interesting. 1970s, the leg, first leg of the gold bull market from 1970 to uh, December 74, was up 458%. And then the correction that we had from, from that top to the low in uh, August of 1976 was 47.7%. And then the, the final leg that culminated with a high at 850 in January, January 1920 was 731%. So from 102 to 850, 731%. And then what I did, I uh, divided leg two into leg one, and that's 1.6 times, almost like Fibonacci, 1.618, right? Uh, the golden mean. And then I've uh, looked at the uh, 21st century bull market. And the uh, leg one uh, from 252 to 1920, that was up 661.9%. Uh, and Amazingly, the correction we had from 2011 to 2015 was 45.5%, which is very similar to the 47.7%, uh, I would say. Uh, so what will leg two be? <laughs> you probably worked it out already, some of you. So you take the uh, 661.9, multiply it by 1.6, right? Which is how uh, much bigger uh, leg two was in the 1970s and you get a thousand and fifty nine percent and then you have to take though the uh, low in uh, 2015 of a thousand forty six and mul multiply that by a thousand fifty nine percent and the number I've come up with is twelve thousand one hundred twenty three uh, dollars and fourteen cents <clears throat> by 2024 the thing about uh, this bull market, as you can see, 
Uh, in the 1980s, it took 10 years. Uh, in the 21st century bull market, it's going to take 24 years. So <laughs> it, you have to be very patient. I was lucky to, to, to uh, start and to get in this market back in 2002. Uh, it has been frustrating uh, at times. But I think uh, everything has its time. And I think the time for gold is now. Uh, and you can see that uh, if we get to 2000, it's the equivalent of getting back to 200 back in 19, uh, well, it was 1978, I think, uh, that it, re, you know, it broke through uh, 200 again, July 1978. Um, so that will be the equivalent of getting uh, back above that level of 200 uh, when we get back above 2000. So it seems like a huge number 2000, but uh, percentage wise, it isn't. And uh, if we're gonna have a, a second leg of this bull market, if we break uh, 1920 eventually, uh, I wouldn't put it past that we have uh, such a big move in gold. And what would that be reflecting? Well, I think it would be reflecting uh, the major uh, inflationary, uh, how can I say, uh, wave, second wave that's coming uh, from the central bankers trying to keep the system from imploding. So the massive QE, negative interest rates. The other day uh, it was reported that uh, we're up to 13 trillion in government securities that are uh, ne negative uh, yielding uh, securities. And I think that's just gonna increase. Uh, if the when the Fed gets in into uh, this uh, program of negative interest rates, it's going to be even more, in my opinion. I saw the Minneapolis uh, Fed president uh, Neil Kashkari, and he was the guy uh, picked by Hank Paulson to manage the TARP fund. He used to work for Goldman Sachs. He's saying the Fed should cut by fifty basis points right away. So. Um, yeah, that's what the world's going to be like. Uh, things, you know, they're going to just uh, trash all the fiat currencies. Gold 12,123. I mean, it might not get there exactly. It might get to uh, 11,500 or 12,000. I don't know, but that's the number I've got. Uh, a bit of fun. <laughs> so if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Uh, you can also follow me on Twitter, Steam it, and on DTube. I wish you all a great day and a great weekend, and I'll talk to you very soon. Bye.